Hey guys, it's Marshall Anschutz, and I'm excited to talk to you today about Unity because they just released 2019.1. One of the 283 new features that they built into it is the Lightweight Render Pipeline, abbreviated LWRP. They have uh, built that pipeline to replace the standard rendering pipeline in Unity and it will help you with things such as virtual reality, uh, mobile gaming, and all sorts of other special effects that you may want to do on a average or subpar graphics card. They also have a high definition render pipeline. It's still in beta, but um, the lightweight render pipeline is finally coming out of that beta. So let's talk about it. First off, let's make sure that we update the Unity Hub. Uh, I'm on 1.61, and I've already gone ahead and download the 2019.1. For me, it's the OF2 release. They may have released another patch. So make sure if you have an earlier version than this that you update at least this far. We need to create a new project. And in the template section, you probably want to go ahead and select the right lightweight render pipeline. It still says preview, but they say that it's pretty much stable now. Um, if you're doing virtual reality, you probably want to select that instead. The lightweight render pipeline can also be configured for an existing project, and uh, these instructions should pretty much work for both of those. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here. I already created a project, and I've started with the example assets. As you can see here, the example assets are all a lovely shade of magenta. The magenta shows that we actually have a error with our shader, our shader being the lightweight render pipeline. So it's kind of frustrating when you go in, you see that your new example scene doesn't work. You might be tempted to back out and go use the existing pipelines, but it's actually a really easy thing to do. Uh, first off, you probably want to go to your tools, select the package manager, and in the package manager, make sure that you see the lightweight render pipeline and that you have installed it. You may have to select advanced, tell it to enable preview packages, and when it does that, it'll bring up a whole bunch of other packages as well, and you can scroll in there and select it. Before, the uh, render pipeline was in a different section down here, uh, looks like they've renamed it now to be a, a more official name. So go ahead and update that. Make sure you're on at least a 4.10 or later release and it should work. Now, to actually plug in this pipeline, you have to create these pipelines. And the way that you do that is you go to project settings and then you select your graphics tab and you choose which of the scriptable pipelines are being chosen. Now, if you have the example assets, there will be one already. But if you haven't, then you'll need to go over here and create a new render pipeline asset. Let's do it up here so you can see it. Sorry. in the rendering pipeline here is pretty generic. It doesn't even have a title or a, a graphic for it, but it shows up as a lightweight render pipeline asset. You can select it and choose different options over here to configure it, um, but we're not gonna really go into all those settings. If you use the example assets, there's actually a low, medium, and high already built for you. So now let's go back to our project settings and figure out what's going on. You need to use the dot to bring up the chooser. And then you'll see here the example one we created, as well as a high, medium, and low quality one. Let's go ahead and choose their predefined high quality. And you'll see here that they have some defaults are pretty much configured and that it's using a 16 point floating point, 16 bit floating point for that. 
Now that we've chosen that, voila, our scene is actually showing with all of the assets. If you have any assets from an existing project that aren't compatible, um, let's go look at those. You see here we have a couple. They're actually starting to fill in now. Um, you notice here the shader has a new type for the render pipeline instead of these old types um, that you're used to using. You want to actually go to the lightweight render pipeline and choose lit for the majority. Um, there's also a couple extra special ones here, for instance, particles or for your terrain. A uh, special unlit one that is obviously very simple. But if you have a whole bunch of assets that you need to modify and bring into the lightweight render pipeline, you can actually choose edit and go down to the render pipeline. And they have a section here to upgrade either the materials you select in the asset window or to upgrade all of your project materials. So if we choose that, it's going to ask you to proceed. Uh, if you're unsure, you may want to make sure you have a backup either in source control or copy your project. And then it'll run through the project. Of course, for ours, we've already done that. So uh, the materials didn't upgrade. But that should take care of any of the shader conversions for you. So I hope you enjoyed this tidbit from my weekly reality check. Um, go ahead and check me out on Twitter at manshoots.com or visit my website uh, manshoots.com visit me on twitter at manshoots and i hope look forward to hearing your feedback on this or any other uh, thoughts or questions you have about that render pipeline let's talk about it